Should just skyrocket it. Oh yes. Oh, we we even killed a cow with it. <laughs> we just killed a cow by throwing our tank at it. This <laughs> rocket. Oh crap! That is not what I wanted to see there. No, that guy is gonna hurt me. Oh uh, no. Wait, can he? Oh crap! Yeah, this is not good. This is not good. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Unturned. Oh my gosh, we're already being attacked, hello there. Wow, I wasn't paying attention because I was doing the intro. Let's go ahead and take care of this mess with our new shotgun. This should do. Now I didn't have a plan for today's episode, so really we're probably going to end up just massacring zombies left and right. Oh, but we have to get some money, don't we? We have a bit of money stored at the base, as well as we can continue doing the key hunting, but I, I think I... Well, we're actually right next to where we need to be as well. So, it's perfect. We can do the key hunting here. Now, I think I might have brought what I need to get our tank unstuck. Now, we have one big issue here with all these zombies just piling up right over there. They're just lining up right there for me to shoot them. Do we have- yes, we have the car jack! Oh, oh crap, do I have to- there we go! Good! Hello- oh crap! I see him right over there. Let me just catapult this- uh, do I have to press this button? How do I get this thing unstuck? Hello! Okay, I guess I have to take care of you first. How stuck did I get this thing? It's like perfectly stuck on here. This is. Is there. Is there more of them? Oh, hello. We may have to actually level up our stats. How many do I have to kill? Okay, let's get our, our skills up. Yep, yeah, we got the car jack right there. So that means if I press. This thing, it should just skyrocket it. Oh, yes. Oh, we, we even killed a cow with it. <laughs> we just killed a cow by throwing our tank at it. Or we, or we should use this as our weapon for now on. We're just gonna start... Th oh, this is this is worth it. This is this is worth it. I should have gotten this, um, this perk a while ago. This <laughs> rocket... It's a rocket tank! It left holes in the- Oh, crap. Wait. Uh, I won't be bad if it hits the ground. <laughs> it left bullet holes everywhere! What? This is- a, This is a glitch, it has to be. Oh my gosh, it just broke straight through the fence and killed two more. I- I'm, I didn't catch it on camera, but it just did. No, I have to make this my thumbnail at some point. I- I will have to catapult this thing straight up in the sky, but... I think you could actually probably use the, um, the carjack as a weapon if you get that perk in multiplayer. You could literally throw cars at people. You could... Hello. Um... Oh, he can't get me. Ha! <laughs> get, get, um, get smarter. Alright, so of course we have to... The next stop is the prison. So, we're gonna have to go ahead and clear out this place. Take cover behind the car, and then charge our way in. Oh, hello there! Yes, hello, how are you? Wonderful. I'm gonna pick up your shotgun shells, your baton, all of your wonderful loot that you won't be needing anymore. Yes, good. Full-on assault, as I like to call it. Um, He is stuck in the window. Wow, th this is a good perk. Okay. Because not only is it funny, but, um, it's also really overpowered if you use it properly. Or improperly, I should say. Now, I do see a guy there. That will draw all of the zombies away from this door. Oh my god, we got him over the fence that time. Wow, this is, this is gonna have some highlights this video is gonna have. But don't worry, I got him with this maneuver here. They can't pathfind over these, of course. Ha! Ah, been defeated. Now we can just charge through here. Uh, 
Oh, I heard one. Oh yes, I am very good with this shotgun. Oh crap. Yeah, we have a horde chasing us, which is bad. Oh, yep, see? Good thing I got this absolutely amazing long-range shotgun here. We'll just run straight through all of our enemies. They cannot stop us. Whoa, what's this? Mysterious package. Am I, I supposed to be delivering those still? Oh, crap! That is not what I wanted to see there. No! That guy is gonna hurt me. Oh, uh, no. Wait, can he? Oh, crap. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Uh, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I was just gonna go pick up the keys from the train, but um, it seems that I ran the wrong corner <laughs> recklessly. Let's go ahead and go around town real quick just to see if we can evade his pathfinding see how big the radius is oh my gosh we're just absolutely wrecking everything right now see the good thing about when I hit these guys and they go 50 miles per hour is that I'm actually getting points for this I believe so we are still leveling up because we're running them over this is the only map that that works on I, I think unless they changed it in an update then in which case every map is like this but You'll have to find that out for yourself, because I don't remember getting points on the other maps for killing zombies with a car. Now, I don't think he should be chasing us anymore. Oh my gosh, that was like a field goal right there, right between those trees. Um, and we should be fine from the rest of the town's zombie population, so let's go ahead and say hello to them. They look quite friendly to us today. Alright, so to get them away from the train this time, I've decided to go about it differently. So I shot the ground over there, they're all going to that. This guy is stuck. That is not what I wanted to see. Um, to deal with him, I think we will just have to use our Saul to beat the crap out of him. Yes. Hurt him. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I, I'm not sure why a character decides to punch with a saw, but why not? Oh, a heavy barrel, that's the last part we need it for the Destructicator myth. I don't remember what it's called. I just know that whatever it is, it's, and there's no keys here. There's, there's no keys anywhere. I only found, like, one key. We're supposed to be finding, like, 50 keys and getting rich. Not one key and being poor. Now look at this, our cotton has started to grow wonderfully. Let's just harvest all of this cotton. We didn't get any experience for it, but don't worry because we can craft a whole lot more. Anyway, we made some money today, we got at least 6,000? No, I doubt that that's what that is. Let's see what we can craft in this menu. Um, now I think the Devastator costs yes we are missing one of the pieces it's the sentry engine and that's all we need to make this into our wonderful turret that we're going to be building all right i hear an airdrop so i have to go see this where is it going because we have not visited okay there we go uh it's heading towards oh crap i don't have a good view with all these trees it's headed that direction from what I saw. Now we should be able to catch the package before it hits the ground. So we're going to go ahead and hit the road now. Alright, we're heading straight for the package. It's coming in on the park it looks like. So we should be able to get over there pretty quickly. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, I definitely enjoy um, having our carjack perk all the way at the top super good because all of the trees will bow down to us in our mighty power when we drive our tank around oh it looks like it's gonna be next to yeah it's right by the park so it's no it's probably going to the road next to the yeah it's going to the mall what am i kidding <laughs> well at least we got the package we just have to wait for it now unless it's landing on the roof then i don't know how we can get that oh crap yeah, I see another one of these guys. It's a Zeus 
imposter. I'm gonna call him an imposter. A fake Zeus. Because he shoots us with lightning bolts. Alright, so I got some of the things we've been looking for. Um, specifically, a random loot box thing. And also, some mesh. So we can actually go back to the dead zone at some point. Okay, our tank is way too big for this little road here. How do we even... You know what? Ah, crap. It will just barely fit through here. No, it won't even fit. Okay, who designs a tank that can't fit through roads? Don't worry, though. Because I have the solution to every problem. We will catapult our tank all the way there. Volleyball powers activate. Oh, yes. Skill. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Oh, ah, uh, crap. <laughs> yes, this is good. Wait, we could actually get it on the bridge using this. Three, two, one. Teleport. Where are we? Why is it so... Oh, welcome. Hello. Uh, oh, yes. Unlocking our first... Well, unlocking another box. And we got a Hellcat, which we already have one. Um... 200 rounds of low caliber ammunition. That's decent. But not really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some of the higher end things. And we, of course, some of this thick military leggings. But we don't really need those. We're here to sell our stuff and complete our Fisher quest. Here we go. We're getting our fishing rod mark three. Fish request part one. A try hard fish. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Um, also, we have to trade our stuff to him. So, if we give him... Oh, yes. We're holding on to the green one. So, give him three of those. 4,000 Nas. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what our... Oh. Oh yes, we also completed the zombie quest today, so we should be able to talk to this guy. Confirm. Yep. We got 50 of the 25 that we needed to kill, which I wonder how we did that. Um, accept quest. 10 cows. Yes, that that will be easy. Uh, Alright, and then we need to go visit this guy before the end of the episode as well. Because here we can trade for... Oh, yes. Um, we don't have enough money, really, for all of the stuff I need. But I will trade with him. Let me see if I can sell him anything. I could sell him this glue for 50 Nas, but... Yeah, I'm going to go with the circuit board trade. Just get that out of the way. So we can build some cool things now. And I want to look around because I want to see if anybody sells the engine that we're looking for. Oh my gosh, I see another package. I didn't even know the plane even came. Now, we should be able to get there if we run while gliding. Now, I can't look at the ground, otherwise I'll start going down a bit faster, I feel like. Uh, we should be able to make it there. We should be able to make it there. Alright, it just passed the build board. Now, this is the farthest we've ever flown away from the uh, Sky Islands over there, I believe. I usually just glide straight down, but th yeah, I jumped onto a rock using my parachute and then jumped down so I could get an even better distance. So, we've covered like half the map at least. L let me check how far we've gone. Oh yeah, we've gone incredibly far. Now, let's go ahead and take care of this package. Alright, so the package contained gun stuff, and we don't really need that because we already have most of our guns equipped to the teeth. Now, I'm going to be heading back to base for the rest of the episode because we have some work to do. Oh, crap. That's a mega zombie, isn't it? Alright, let's just take the turn here. Oh, oh, crap. There's another car. I have a feeling we're going to run into a bus that I've crashed here. Uh, yeah, it's up the road there, so we should be fine. Okay, as long as we can get back to base on this thing, we will be good to go. Alright, so I've done a bit of work on the base. I've got some metal walls set up now. 
And I think I've done enough for today to make it a bit more completed. As you can see, it's still not fully complete. It's got this just massive board here, and this is really so I can get both sides perfectly aligned because they need to be so I can make a, a launch pad or landing area in the middle for our helicopter, which we don't own anymore. Um, maybe possibly a garage on top, but we have a garage base elsewhere that I do need to work on as well. So... If you've enjoyed today's episode, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you have any suggestions for next time, leave those in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys next time and goodbye.